Hey guys, RC here. We are back with episode two of Planet Base. Outpost RC. And so again, a lot of what I'm going to be doing while I'm playing is just kind of letting you know some of the things that I have found. I've only been playing this for about a week. But it was, yeah, you know, it took me probably about 30 starts before I was actually able to really survive without people dying. Uh, the death spiral in the game is extremely, extremely, uh, it's got a very fine margin. Um, so as I had said, just to kind of recap some things from the first episode, getting your, let me take these domes off so we can see. Getting your production center, the processing plant, especially your metal pr production, is crucial. But don't forget your bioplastic, because if we look at our things up here, we have two free bioplastics and only two metals. And we were out of metal. So, you know, we've got that as a priority right now. You have to have a mine set up to produce ore to turn into metal. And then you need a medical bay a sick bay with a at least one bed for your miners because they will get hurt with broken bones or whatnot to come in and have the doctor fix them up now once we're up and running which we are here I'm just kind of watching for our production right now uh, let's see we are trying to get another power collector up so that's fine uh, let's see all right, we actually have, all right, so our stuff outside is starting to decay, but we have, we have storage set up. So our carrier bot here is starting to bring stuff inside. Our workers will as well, but you can see we're a little behind. So I want to get to about 10 workers before I change my focus. And then I will work on the biodome, which will be the next thing. Now, before you expand your biodome, honestly, I probably should have built the larger one here. But I think you kind of have to almost go small at the very beginning, just so you don't run out of resources, because you saw how close we were. And that was just getting the bare basics set up. So... Now we're going to start expanding into some bigger production facilities, but a new biodome, more plants. We're going to need to get more biologists to handle those plants. We're also going to need to make sure we're on top of our water supply. And that's one reason I wanted to make sure we had a water tank up and running. So, you know, because you're going to max out your water production. Even though we have plenty here, you're going to need a little bit of extra because that's not a constant rate of production. So also uh, power production, uh, we are working on that and I want to get a second battery up uh, to where we can make sure we're making it through the night as we are expanding. Um, we said that this handles about 30 people. So at about 20 to 25, we're going to want to build a new oxygen generator so we'll need the material for that so right now is a this would this would be a point that they would consider you to be stable and able to survive so this would be a point where if you don't need the workers you'd want to turn off your landing pad and you do that by hitting the little stop button here all right another colonist ship let's see what we get Watch it be three. That would be okay. Ah, oh, we did get three, all workers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our landing permissions, and now you see we have 11. So now I want to raise my biologists. I'm going to try to get one more engineer as well. But biology's the most important thing because now we've got enough workers that we can kind of keep things going. So we need three here. 
three here for right now, right? And then that's six. And that leaves us four for hauling, moving things around, just basic, you know, grunt work. So that's a good point. So technically right now what I could do is I could turn that off. And the reason I would want to turn that off is because I don't need the biologist until yeah, let me turn until I get this new biodome set up. So all they're going to do is come in and consume resources and they'll do some work, they'll do some hauling, but honestly, I don't need the biologist right now. And you can see how fast those colonist ships come in. Uh, you know, as you're developing, they, they do a pretty good job. So um, maybe at the point that this starts construction, then at that point I will probably expand. I am actually going to create a new metal processor here. And another, then what you're going to want to eventually do is you're going to want to specialize. So these are, you know, you'll want all four, you'll want four ore processors in one, and then maybe somewhere like off of this biodome have another storage facility and then a processing center and put all of your bioplastic creators over here because they use the resources, the starches grown in your biodomes. So this puts this closer to your mine. It's not super close. I would like it closer, but it was, you know, just the way that we started off here. Um, but, and you also don't want those biologists coming in because we're not producing a ton of food just yet. So we want to kind of put a limit. So, you, it, you know, it's really a balancing act on how you are, you know, your power, your water, your personnel, you know, your manufacturing. So, you know, we need to get caught up here. So don't get ahead of yourself. That's that's a key. Just don't get ahead of yourself. So like right now, you know, we, we want to probably get these back up to about between five and ten units each that are available to where we're... Whoa, hello. Uh, yeah. Remind me tonight. God. Edit, edit. Alright, so, as I was saying, you know, don't get ahead of yourself and, you know, don't, don't be, don't be adverse to slowing the pace down and, you know, getting caught up, you know, making sure everything is flowing well. Uh, like right now, we have all of our guys in beds, so let's add a new bed. We'll add a new bed in there. Now he's unhappy. So one of the things we can do is we can add a plant in there. I really want to get that done. But they're bringing it out to here first. So what I could do I could actually turn this off and force them to do that first. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Let's see if I can get them to... I'm going to speed up the game. Alright, I want somebody to grab... All right, he's hauling the metal to the power conductor. Awesome. So once that's there, we only need one. All right, now let's slow it back down. And let's build that biodome again. There we go. And see, it won't let me build it there because I have materials there. Uh, we will build it. 
Let's put it over here. So we'll move it a little bit, and that way they'll haul it from outside. I just wanted to force that power conductor over here. And there we go. Going up. So again, I, you know, what I'm trying to do here is go ahead and begin the process of having maximizing the storage of the energy that we are producing. So this is starting to go up slowly. I mean, but we're producing about 15 extra kilowatts. Uh, so now we have very little wind and that is here. So we have very little wind right now and it's hour eight. So it's just eight in the morning. So our solar array will pick up, you know, eventually we'll get more wind. And in fact, you can see that starting to develop a little bit faster. Winds picking up 16, 17. So eventually that battery is going to fill up and then this one will start filling up as well. And that'll give us enough to make it through the night. So I'm comfortable there. We still have this maximized. So you, you may want to balance this as well. What happens if, you know, like right here, we have two ore. We've got three machines. Well, if they are using all the machines, that's going to be gone in the next round, right? Then we may want to turn off this and make that normal and then maximize the mine. Or we may want to maximize the mine at the same time. Just remember, wherever you put those workers, wherever you put those workers, that's going to put a drain somewhere else. All right, so we are going here, and we have three free metals. So they've got enough metals to build this. So I am going to go ahead. Once it's out here, once he starts construction, I'm going to turn that landing pad back on. Now, our storage is 49% full. That's fine. What do we have here? Our control center. Okay. Now, there are things that we can build inside the control center, but we don't have guards yet, so we don't need it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to want to start paying attention to is our medical supplies and our spares. And to make medical supplies, it takes... Uh, let me show you what it takes. It takes these medicinal pads, and these take a while to grow. So that's going to be one of the first things that we get growing. It also takes bioplastics to make the container to store it in. And then that makes these little medicinal supplies. Every time someone gets hurt and goes to your sick bay, it uses one of these. So you really want to keep at least 10. And they take a while to make. So it takes a medic plus those supplies and a workbench to make. All right, so let's see, where are we at? All right, so they're making that. I'm, I'm going to wait for the constructor bot to come out. What I want to build now... Um, I want to build a lab first. That's going to take one and one and one and one. All right, that's going up. So let's turn this back on. Double check our, yep, 90% biologists, 10% engineers. Because the next thing, I don't need a ton of engineers. I just want one or two more to make sure our bots stay repaired. And then they're going to be the next thing that we start to need as far as running machinery. All right, now that's going to take a total of two. And you can see that we still we have two metals, no, uh, one free, so that's the one. So they're bringing the other two out, and we have one bioplastic, and it's free too. So they're bringing everything out to get that going. 
All right, let's go in here, and I'm going to want two medicinals, and then I'm going to want three starches. That's going to give us nine. And remember, now each one of those is going to take a bioplastic to create. So it's going to take a little while to make all of those. Um, well, I thought they were bringing those out. Maybe I should uh, hold off on these. Yeah, you know what? I am going to hold off on these. Because I don't want them bringing the bioplastics here first. Trade ship. All right. They've got the uh, giant windmill, some more bots, but again, I don't have anything to spare right now. Oh. All right, so let's go, let's go. All right, checking our other battery. So it's actually maximized now. So that gives us double double the capacity at night, almost double the capacity. Now at this point for my outer buildings, my generators, I'm going to want to start building the biggest ones just to get the bang for the buck. Uh, if you look at the, you know, what they what they create Per resource, the bigger ones are better. All right, so we're making good progress. We still have two ores, although we have, and you can look inside, they have an ore in there. So it'll actually hold three ores if you have the excess capacity. Um, I'm going to go ahead and up production here to get this maximized for a little while till we get ahead. If I get about five or six, I'll turn that back off. But that way I know they're maximizing the production. Uh, the These are the starches created by your plants here. All right, here's a colonist ship. So let's see what we get. Two, and they're both biologists. You can tell by their armbands, so that's fine. All right, I still need one more. There he is right there. All right, so those are done. And we still have, well, we don't have any free. So that's okay, but he is working on some. So let's go ahead and add, uh, food is most important. So we're going to add in one starch and two foods. That way we can have a little more production of bioplastics, but food production as well. And you'll use some of the starch product as food. Remember the uh, wheat and tomatoes makes uh, pasta. So, Alrighty, and this is going to be our lab. Now, we're growing food over here, right? But we also need to develop other lines of food. So eventually, and this is what I talked about er last episode, where you don't want to put in too many hallways because you want to maximize your building space inside. Inside of here, we can build medic supplies and 
tissue synthesizer. So I'm going to want to get a medic workbench. I have one medic, so I'm only going to build one. So they will start producing uh, medical supplies, because you can see we've used one. But I also want to come in and I want to build a couple of meat synthesizers. These create uh, fake meat or, or meat products, and that gets added into your food production. So eventually I'll have one room with just this and then another room with just the medical supplies, and I'll, I'll add to that as I add medics uh, into the base. So we've got steel production up. We've got ore production up. We've got food production up, which makes meals, so we're okay. I've got a medicinal pad going up. The next thing we need is spares. So you remember I said we use spares to repair all of our outside buildings and our robots. So we need to replace those. And we are going to do that with a something a factory I believe it's a factory all right um, let's put him there we'll connect him here all right that's two three and three so it's going to take us a while now remember the biologist we are now at four yep so I'm going to turn that off for the time being. We've got, we'll have two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll have enough biologists to, to last, you know, to, to handle a little bit more, but I don't have the bioplastics. So at this point, I could build another processing plant but I think I want to get the factory up and running. Actually, you know what? No, that's not going to be... Yeah, let's do that. I want to build a bigger one. We will build that off of there. Because they'll get starches out of here. And I am going to then break down this bioplastic and I will fill this room with bioplastics and I'll add a fourth metal processor into here. Now this one may care, be able to take two or even three per slot. So I may not use all bioplastics. I may add some metal production in here too. It's always an option to go down and break this down and recycle it, but you know, you do lose some stuff and then you break the line and that's generally not a good idea. So either build it big in the beginning or just move on. All right, so we don't need any more people right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed the game up. Just see if we can get production going. Uh, you know what, I am going to turn that off and I am going to add I'm going to add two of these because those are fast growing. Ooh, I don't need that. All right. So we'll add And if you wondered what that was, it's a meteorite. <laughs> so there are meteorites that will hit the planet from time to time if it hits a place where your building is or one of your people are. Uh, the building will be destroyed. The people will die. Uh, oh, sandstorm imminent. So let's go ahead and call a yellow alert. Get everybody inside. And if we watch him, you'll see he'll get unhealthy. You can see him going down. But he will get back to the airlock as soon as he can over here. What I need to do is probably build another airlock out this way. 
but I don't want to build it off of that building. I'm going to build it off of the control center, I believe. That'll get us up there. All right, so we've got another starch built. More starch production will get us more starches generated, which keeps this running more often. And yeah, that gets annoying. Let me see if I can, uh, uh, let's see. No. I think you can only access the settings from the main screen when you lo load the game. So sorry, I can't turn that down. I've turned the music down. I've turned it down a little bit, but again, you want to get everybody out of the sandstorm. You can see he still has not made it inside and he is actually uh, in bad health now. So he's going to have to go to the sick bay. He will get healthier going inside. And before he gets to sick bay, that may rebound enough. And that's why it's good to have more than one ingress egress point. So you'll end up having two, three, some, maybe even four uh, airlocks as you develop. But keep popping airlocks periodically just to give them closer points to get in and out. And you'll be fine. And again, the alarm is done from the security controls. Uh, the red alert is uh, to get everybody inside immediately. Uh, and in a solar flare, you will get irradiated. You'll get radiation poisoning and die. So if you don't get to sick bay and get treated fast enough. So, all right. Looks like it's slowing down. There it goes. So we can turn, we can turn that off now. And we can get back to the status quo. All right, well, that's episode two. Uh, not a lot happening in this one, but we have built, got a few things going, uh, mainly waiting on production. And as I mentioned in the first episode, your biggest roadblock is going to be metal and bioplastic construction. So that's why I think for this one we want to get another processing plant up. What I can do is I can actually recycle one of these. And I'm going to put down another bioplastic container for right now. Hopefully they keep it there and just rebuild it real quick instead of trying to move it outside. We'll see. We'll see. Again, I can't produce faster than I'm making starches, so I need to get a couple of starches up here. Okay, he's already moved. He just moved it and reset it. So that should get built next. There's my constructor bot. So again, don't get so far ahead. I mean, I probably shouldn't even put two things down. But again, I know we've got to... Uh, you know, in fact... Well... It really doesn't matter. The airlock, if they build it first, will help us get out to build this faster. If they put them all here, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, six of one, half dozen of another. So, guys, thanks for checking out this episode. We'll put a break in right here. And uh, leave a thumbs up for the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. Appreciate the support for the channel. And we will see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good one.